Hallelujah. I thank and praise God. The prophet of God is here. The leader of God's people yeah. is here. Live and well, hallelujah. And getting ever stronger every day. I give equal honors to First Elect Lady Mother Walker and her memory and let us be of holiness, virtue, and strength for all people to follow after and courage, hallelujah. I thank and praise God for that shining example, hallelujah, that is still with us today. I thank and praise God and I give honors to whom honors are due, greeting all the household of faith with love and admiration in Jesus' name. You know, it's just a blessing to be again in God's true remnant church that Apostle Peter established on the day of Pentecost. I have absolutely no doubt about it. Hallelujah. I thank and praise God that our church website is just about there where we can uh, start getting our videos uh, embedded on that site. And I just thank and praise God for that. God is a wonder. And I thank and praise God truly for just working every, every circumstance and condition out in our lives, every test and trial. We have the victory, hallelujah, the total and complete victory. Amen. I thank and praise God for his healing power, hallelujah, for healing from the top to the bottom, hallelujah. And I thank and praise God for that. I thank and praise God truly for keeping us covered in the blood of Jesus. I thank and praise God for his forgiveness, hallelujah. I thank and praise God as you, if you stumble along the way as the prophet has brought out, God is quick to forgive if you repent. So we, we serve a mighty and wondrous God. His mercy and us forever toward Israel. And we are today's modern Israel. Hallelujah. And I thank and praise God just for all that he's, you know, doing and folding before our eyes. It was brought out in the lesson earlier today. And I thank and praise God for that wonderful blessed lesson. Truly, it's a blessing to myself. You know, but how, you know, the children saw the parting of the Red Sea, a great miracle never seen before. Hallelujah. Something that was never even done before and then they forgot about it you know but we can't forget about the miracles that we've seen the miracles we've experienced how we have each of us has had a miracle that god has brought in our lives even allowing us to come into holiness and not die out there in the world not be in a jail cell somewhere you know, not be crippled somewhere, hallelujah, unable to walk, move, and have someone have to do everything for you. I thank and praise God for that miracle of salvation. I thank and praise God for just everything that he's done, for, for the victories on the job, hallelujah, those yeah. demons, praise God, forever trying to get themselves into the lake of fire ever faster. But I thank and praise God that we are on that straight and narrow pathway that leads to life that few find, hallelujah, because they will not obey the truth, but we obey the truth, hallelujah. We came in and wanted to be saved the Bible way, not some false way that they're doing in the false churches. Stay in true life. There's nothing out there but death and destruction, lies upon lies, craziness upon craziness. I thank and praise God that although, I'll be cut it a little short, but I thank and praise God that even though, you know, that war is going on over there, you know, in Russia uh, against the Ukraine, you know, those people... You know, you have to look at the aggressor, hallelujah. So I thank and praise God for, you know, defeating that situation, hallelujah. Although it hasn't affected us personally, it affects us spiritually because those are people, innocent people that could be getting saved the Bible way. Instead, they're being, you know, killed, you know, maybe before their time because of this aggressor that doesn't have to show this type of aggression for those people. So I thank and praise God for protecting true light. It shall not come not our dwelling, hallelujah. But I still pray for those uh, children and innocent people that are being killed for absolutely no reason. And I thank and praise God truly for all that he's doing for us. And yet we'll do it. <laughs>
way. Thank God again for having favor with me. Allow me to be one more Sunday back in God's house among God's people. Surely God will be your peace. So much to thank you for. Words can't see it all. Hallelujah. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all Evangelist of Maya, $160. Yeah. Ian Brooks, $100. Yeah. Daniel Ricky Smith, $100. Evangelist yeah. Rogers, $340. Oh. Deacon Victor, $300. God's a wonderful church. Been in the church 20 minutes. The minute he got a job, you see what he's doing. Do Thank God. Get your line. $1,000. I said before, you can't beat God giving, no matter how you try. And again, church, the word says not to set your affections on things beneath, but rather on things above. I want to hear uh, that song, uh, been on my heart all morning, but not on the Western Bells or who it is, uh, More than all, he's God. Amen. More than all, 
Yeah. How good the Kool Aid is. All right. Man. Last can't open the glass. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. 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 Thank Ready to die over there? Russia and Ukraine? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Already they tighten up their nuclear weapons, getting ready. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And they ain't not going to, listen, it ain't going to take nothing but prayer to get us through this. Amen. Man, right. Like the songwriter said, more than all, you're going to need Jesus. They fight you. And all right. I see you. Man. Thank you, Lord. That's and I know one thing, he never failed his church. Yeah. Man. Hallelujah. 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 Be Amen. He never failed me. He's not going to fail you. Glory, hallelujah. Somebody, I think, day before yesterday, yesterday, got bit twice by a snake. On the job. Trying to work with some money to the kingdom. He did get bit once, got bit twice. Hallelujah. But he prayed to God. Amen. And he's here this morning. Hallelujah. Yes. Somebody say, well, if he is one of those things, no, he's one of those things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's about the one thing. One of those things, the one thing. He said, I'm going to pay you. I'll never let you down. Yes. Yes. He meant it. Yes. He meant what he said. Yes. And church, if we can just learn, just learn how to have faith in God, yes. trust in him. We can't lean to our own understanding. And sometimes, you know, you've got to reach back and say, Lord, I got a little doubt. Will you help my unbelief? Let me say something. He told God I got a little something in me where I, I can't quite get a hold to it, but will you help my unbelief? Yeah. Right. And I know God helped him. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm thinking, brothers and sisters, if we can just realize that these stories recorded in the Bible's living testimony forever yeah. is for our admonition. Yeah. We got to look back at their testimony. And the Bible says they were in like fashion as we. In other words, they're human beings. Yeah. Right. Amen. They suffered. They had sometimes doubt. Right. Sometimes they wondered whether or not I could make it or not. Yes. But one thing for certain, they knew who to turn to right. when the going got tough. Yeah. I'm kind of breaking from my sermon this morning, but I'm reminded when the ship was in the midst of a storm. Yes. And Jesus, the Bible says, was in on board in the hinder part Hinder's of the ship, yeah. asleep. Yeah. Now he was in his human form, yeah. so he got tired. Yeah. Probably been preaching all day and wanted to lay down and get him some sleep. Yeah. Right. Storm came up, and they were professional fishermen on yeah. board that ship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They knew the difference between a storm and a raging hurricane. All right, right. Yeah. They weren't no afraid of no wave or two crashing over the bow of the ship. They weren't afraid of that. But when they saw the intensity of the storm, they said, we can't make it through this storm. But one of them said, wait, let's go and wake up the master. Amen. It doesn't matter how much you are going through, know who to go to when you're going through. Amen. Don't ever go to the wrong place. Come on. After they debated among themselves, finally one of them said, Late, wait, we're going to go wake him up. All Somebody right. said, Well, no, no, don't disturb me. When they look back at them raging waves and everything, that storm coming upon them, yeah, yeah, yeah hurry up and go back and wake him up. <laughs> wake him up! Yes. Said, Lord, care not that we perish. Yes. Now, we're getting ready to die. Right. But let me ask you a question How can any adversity of life overtake you? If you got God on your side. Amen. Now this is one thing they should have known. And God allowed this incident to be in the Bible recorded. Again, 
for us to understand something. I don't care what type of storm you're going through in your life. If you with God, God ain't gonna let nothing happen to you. Oh, no. Might shake you up a little bit. You do that sometimes and get you on your knees. Yeah. Go to him and say, Lord, I'm in trouble. Right. Don't be ashamed. Right. I'm in trouble here. Yeah. Can't solve this problem myself. Right. Will you help me? Yeah. And help is already on the way. Oh, oh he was waiting for so you to have enough humility to say, Lord, I can't make it myself. If you'll help me. The Bible says he walked up the side of the ship and spoke three words. Peace. Be still. Turn around and rebuke his disciples say, you a little faith. In other words, why in the world are you worried? And you know I'm here. Oh, I wish I could get that over to somebody this morning. Don't worry as long as God is with you. And God's with you as long as you hold on to his hand. Yes. He ain't going to turn you loose. Amen. Just don't turn him loose. Yes. Three words. Didn't preach a long sermon. He said, peace be still. Yes. And the Bible said the waves laid down. Like a blanket. Yes. And I told you before, a, 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 a breeze couldn't come through. Yes. To ruffle a pigeon feather. Yes. Because God said, stand still. Right. Hallelujah. Breeze, don't you dare blow. Wind, yeah. don't you dare blow. Hallelujah. Waves lay out. Breeze. Hallelujah. Trouble in your life. Yeah. Yeah. Loose here. Yeah. God has spoke. All you got to do is receive it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Let me get to my text here. And I want to say again to uh, those who watch me. Amen. Over the web now. I don't know whether we're back on YouTube or not. But one thing is for certain. Why y'all put little old me off YouTube? All right. Why are you afraid of little old me? Right. <laughs> Hallelujah. Right. Them great big T.D. Jakes and all them great big Joyce Myers. Mm -hmm. You don't fool with them. Nope. Come on. <laughs> Why are you afraid of little old me? The big giant came up and challenged Israel. All right. He said, send your champion. We got ours. Amen. He said, that big giant out there, I believe Bob's saying nine foot tall. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. Weighed about five, six hundred pounds. Come on. That's right, Had a great big soul. Mm -hmm. And all the people of Israel looked and they got scared. Even King Saul, and he was the leader. Right. He got scared. Sure did. Yes. But a little shepherd boy came along. He wanted to see the show. Amen. And he looked at all them big soldiers yeah. Israel had. All them commanders. Yes. Yeah. And he smiled and said, the King Saul, I'll go. Oh, yeah. thank you. King Saul said, you? He said, yeah, nobody else wants to go. I'll go. So I said, take on my armor. Put on uh, my breastplate and everything and take my sword. David, I believe he tried them on and he took them off. I said, no, no, I can't, I can't wear this. And the Bible said he had a slingshot, pulled it out, and he found, what, three, three smooth stones. stones. Yeah. Hallelujah. Right. God made them smooth on purpose. Uh, right. And the Bible said he ran to meet Goliath. Right. Yeah. I said before, he didn't circle him for no advantage. He wasn't, no, the Bible said he ran to him. Yeah. Right. And took that slingshot and swung it. Yes. Hallelujah. He said, you come to me with the sword and with the shield. Yes. I'll come to you in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. One place in, the, in, in that uh, devil's helmet, yes. Yes. it was about that big. Yes. God made him turn his head. Just <laughs> <laughs> so when David threw that stone, he went right through that little hey, hey. Yes. and killed him. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. David took his own sword and cut his head off. And brought it back to King Saul and said, Here's his double music. Yeah. Hey, here's right now. Oh, yeah. And the Bible says Saul got jealous because he knows that the whole thing was gone with him in the time, praise God, they cheated, they could do like church, and the whole thing was gone with them. They get jealous, they get afraid because we're people of truth. And somebody yeah. might follow the truth. The truth has to set an example for uh, 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 2 Timothy. 
and I want to go to uh, chapter 3 and jump right into verse 1. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. Uh -huh. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents. Blasphemers, disobedient to parents. Now that's, that's not talking about natural parents. That's talking about church leadership. Yes. Amen. Amen. Unthankful, unholy, without natural affection. Wait a minute, you say unholy? Mm. Unholy. In the last days. Yes. Perilous times. You don't become unholy. You have to have a holiness of character established in order for there to be a division between right and wrong. God establishes from the very beginning. There's got to be a difference in sin. Nobody can follow God and still disobey God. So I'm saying to that preacher up there in Philadelphia, you claim you're teaching the whole truth, and I'm going to keep throwing stones at you. Amen. But every time I look around, you're still shaving your head. Amen. Did not the Bible say you're not to make baldness on your head? Amen. Didn't the Bible say so? Now show me anywhere in the New Testament where it vetoed that. Be told me you means you void out something that was already said. Yeah. Show me where any of the apostles ever vetoed that. Amen. Hallelujah. Not to make boldness on you, but you do it. Mm. And your ministers follow suit yep. because you're the leader. Yes. I know she said, let a woman remain silent in the church, but I see somebody on the organ. I believe it was a woman. Oh, come on now. Uh, 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 one of them trance something. Yep. <laughs> and I don't think we know one of them trance something. All right, yeah. Yeah. That was a woman yeah. playing the organ. But you said a woman ought to be silent in the church. Mm. If you play an organ, you're making a noise. All right. Yes. Oh. If you're singing, you're making a noise. Amen, amen. If you're clapping your hands, you're making a noise. Amen. So maybe you better, since you don't know how to write and divide the word of truth, sit down and listen to me. Hallelujah. And then take some humility on your heart. Yes. Glory, hallelujah. There's no difference in the kingdom of God between male and female. Amen. We're all one in Christ Jesus. Yes. And here to the covenant. And the covenant is eternal life in heavenly places. So I just want to say to all the hypocrite preachers and them who claim to have the whole truth, Glory. why don't you take a close look at yourself? Hallelujah. Yes. Yeah, I know they stopped throwing stones at me for a minute. Amen. Because I'll jump right at you. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. I said you should be over here, praise God. And you taking prescription drugs, praise the Lord. Glory. I don't take no prescription drugs I'm nine years old. Hallelujah. And look at that. Come on, hallelujah. You ain't taking no prescription drugs. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take some vitamins. Yeah. But you go in the common by that. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Anytime you don't have the discipline in you to follow the word of truth, that makes you an enemy of the God of the church. And any time you don't obey the God of this church, you are following the ways of Satan. Amen. And it's up to your true light to point out the, the I would say, the error yes. that you follow, Amen. that you might correct yourself and follow the correct pathway. We're not trying to be an enemy of nobody but the devil. Hallelujah. But how shall they know what they have not heard and how shall they hear without a preacher? Amen. And how shall he preach except he be sent? Give me uh, 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 Ezra, the fifth chapter. Amen. And I want you to jump right in verse 7 through 11. Now here, and I'm not going to be for you long, but I want you, to, I, I want you to hear this message this morning. Amen. The forefathers allowed the devil to come into the church. And you see that happening right today. Yes. But preaching is not to bring the devil into the church. Yeah. Preaching is to take the devil out of the church. Amen. Right, right. Holiness is the principle in which God separates right from wrong. Yes. Right. Holiness is the spirit of God that comes to tabernacle within you to give you the, the entrance and the, and the ability to follow 
the principles of righteousness. Amen. It ain't gonna make you follow it, but it gives you the the incentive Amen. to want to do that. Yes. Hallelujah. Just like when you leave here on a Friday night, maybe you want to go to the bar like you used to, but you can't do it, Norma. Maybe you need somebody, and praise God, that lottery when you say one million dollars for a dollar. You say, well, my million dollars, one million. No, gambling is a sin. Right, right. Yeah. So you can't, there ain't no way in the Bible you spun a wheel to got a blessing. Right. Hallelujah. Yeah. Blessings come by faith. Yeah. And favor with God. Yes. Yeah. So I thank God, hallelujah, yeah. that one day I heard the gospel message yeah. and I come running to a sanctified church yeah. and I didn't always agree. Some kind of preacher preached and I sat out in my car and cried. Amen. And I said, hallelujah, I'll never go back to that church again. Amen. But when the door was open, I was right back trying to get yeah. something. Because something that preacher was telling me, I knew it was right. I knew I had to have it yeah. to change my sense of soul. Yeah. That's the sense of the truth that you can do. It'll change the real side out. Yeah. Hallelujah. But you got to want this thing. You got to have that discipline and to hold on to it in here. Yeah. Oh, praise God. The yeah. Egyptian is yeah. confused with salvation. All right, yeah. Let me correct you. Yeah. The cross, God redeemed humanity back to himself. Right. But salvation comes to save humanity. Yeah. Yeah. You can take something to the pawn shop. Well, I want to pawn this watch for $20. All right, here's your $20. Now, praise God, if you don't go back to the pawn shop and give that man $20, you're going to get your watch back. That's right. But now, what if you go back and give him $20 and you walk out without your watch? You didn't pay the price of redemption, yes. but you still ain't got the salvation of your watch. Right, right. So what you got to do is understand, I got to pay the cost, and then when I pay the cost, I got to take righteousness inside of my yeah. character yeah. and follow righteousness. Yeah. I got to follow the prince of the holiness, and I don't care what comes this way. I'm not going to leave my watch in the pawn shop because I'm paying for it. In the fifth chapter, give me verse. I'll be on one verse seven. They sent a letter unto him, uh -huh. wherein was written thus: Unto Darius the king, all peace. Be it known unto the king that we went into the province of Judea, to the house of the great God, which is built with great stones and timbers laid in the walls. Uh -huh. And this work goes fast on, and prospered in their hands. Yes. Then asked we those elders, and said unto them thus. Who commanded you to build this house? Now the king saw that the walls of Jerusalem yes. was being built back up. Now again, if you bring this to the church, you know that false religion has tore down the church. Yes. T.D. Jason, Joyce Miles, and all them devils. Mm -hmm. Amen. I tell you, you say because you repeat a Bible verse. Oh, yeah. You don't have to live nothing. Hallelujah. They even, uh, that guy Bundy, now they're saying he's in heaven. So just before he went to the gas chamber, he said, well, uh, yeah, I'm a hypocrite preacher with him. I said, all you got to do is, is repeat these words, and then a couple of hours when you go to the gas chamber, you're still going to heaven. He said, oh, well, what, what, tell me what to say. Well, I do believe in Jesus, Son of God. Yeah, I believe in Jesus, Son of God. Well, you, hey, that's all. Mm -hmm. Don't even take no deep breath when the gas comes. Mm -hmm. You know, you're going to heaven. To Let me tell you something. And I'm not God, but I can speak for God. Amen. Yeah. Anytime you live a life of sin and then all of a sudden you know you're supposed to die tomorrow all right. and all of a sudden you want to get right. Mm. Do you want to get right because your soul has changed? Amen. Or do you want to get right because you're getting ready to die? Amen. How many women did he kill? I think 30 something. Easy. Which one did he repent of? All right. Come on. Come on. If you killed the first and the second, why you kill 30 more? Come on, and why did this not stop until after they had caught you and yeah. put you in jail? That's right, yeah. Just like the bank robber. That's right. Oh, I'm sorry I robbed that bank. Which one? <laughs> the one I got caught. Amen. That's the one I'm sorry for. Yeah. Right. But you ain't sorry for the other banks you robbed and spent the money. Amen. Hallelujah. What am I saying? Brothers and sisters, you are accountable for your behavior once you have received the knowledge of the truth. And the Holy Ghost come to keep you in a quality of character so when you receive the knowledge of the truth, you can follow that truth. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why they hate true life. Oh. 
We trying to tell all them devils out there, look, you ain't, you going to all these hypocrite churches, you ain't no more saving the devil. Amen. Hallelujah. Devil can't save nobody. How's he going to save you? Amen. It takes a transformation by the renewing of your mind, and there's got to be a sacrifice involved. How do these people put these envelopes, money in the envelope, and I know good well they can't afford it? Hallelujah. And week after week, week after week, they keep putting that in the envelope. Yeah, because it's something about the word of God. I know you got to get started, and God said, deny yourself, and pick up your cross, and follow after him, and I'm going to deny myself. I'm going to set my check in the same for God. Now I'm saying to you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And I want to say to you with an honest heart. Yes. Praise God. Don't you think your labor is in vain? Amen. And a long time ago, hallelujah, I didn't know all the truth, but I knew there was a preacher teaching the truth. Yes. And I didn't always re agree with what he was saying. And sometimes I got mad at him. Hallelujah. Oh. That's why I said to McCann, I said, I ain't going back no more. Amen. I didn't like what the preacher was saying. Yes. Why? Because it was cutting me to the core. Yes. But when the doctor goes in to operate on the cancer, he sees the tumor, but he got to take a knife and cut the tumor out. Yes. yes. If the tumor stays, it's going to kill. Yes. So what he do? He take the tumor out and sew it back up. God take that weakness out of you yes. and sew it back up. Yes. Yes. But the wrong case scenario, when the doctor cut the tumor out, a few years later, it might come back. But God takes sin out your life. It don't never come back unless you ask it to come back. Amen. Ain't nobody ever had cancer. They well, not I have cancer to come back in today. Hmm. I ain't got nothing else to do. No, you ain't going to do that. Right. Why when you get saved, sanctified, and baptized in Jesus' name, and filled with his Holy Ghost, you want to leave the presence of God and go back into an area of sin. Right. That's a foolish person. Amen. What we got to do is hold steadfast. Now they asked a question of the king. And the king asked, who sent you to do this? Finish that text, daughter. Who commanded you to build this house and to make up these walls? Uh -huh. We asked their names also to certify thee, that we might write the names of the men that were the Now children. what they wanted to do was take the names and turn them back to the king. So uh -huh. The king could deal with them. That's right, brother. Mm. Like he did Daniel. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Daniel, old king, Daniel, you said don't pray to nobody yeah. but your idol. And Daniel back there praying to his God. Mm -hmm. mm, said spies. Mm -hmm. What did they say? And thus they returned us answer, saying, We are the servants of the God of heaven and earth, and build the house that was built these many years ago, which is a great king of Israel built it and set up. Hallelujah. We yeah. be servants of the most high God. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. We're doing our work because we're servants of the Most High God. Yeah. Right. And we don't care whether they take us off of YouTube, right, this yeah. tube, or another tube. Right. We're still going to keep preaching. Yeah. We're still going to be a witness of this truth. Yeah. We're still going to go on to God. Go like, oh, have a cigarette. Mm -hmm. Oh, you didn't smoke. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wonder what church you go to. Well, I go to hold this church. How yeah. yeah. oh, have a little smile. I, I go to hold this church. Oh, you and them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You don't believe in smoking, no. You don't believe in cursing, no. You don't believe in fornicating, no. You don't believe in walking from it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Thank they didn't bite the tongue. Nope. We be serving the most high God. Yeah. And that's why we give them back these walls. Because yeah. the forefathers turned them down. The George Myers, Hallelujah, T.D. Oh, Jake yeah. tore down the walls. And then yeah. they cost the church. They yeah. trying to build them back up again. Yeah. Hallelujah. We're going to keep on building. They keep on building. Yeah. And we keep throwing stones with us. They keep throwing stones with us. But pretty soon, Hallelujah, we're going to turn to God and say, Lord, we keep throwing stones with us. And God going to say, stand aside. I'll deal with the problem. My you better leave true that alone. Yeah. Hallelujah. If you don't like what we're doing, keep your mouth closed. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. We're going to do what you can to do so. Hallelujah. God's children. Yeah. 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 We said to rebuke you. We said to correct you. Yeah. You not to correct us. Hallelujah. Did you hear me preach in Philadelphia? Yeah. 
with your shaved head. All right. Luke's here. Yeah. Women are wearing hats. Yeah. The Bible said in the book of Isaiah, he took away the bonnets. Yeah, come on. Mm. <laughs> oh, you didn't know that, did you, preacher? <laughs> and the word cover means veil. Yes. I told you that before. Yes. Hebrew text, cover means veil. Yes. English text, cover means veil. Yes. Greek text, cover means veil. Yes. But you got hats on, different kind of hats. This one tilted this way, that one tilted that way, that one tilted back that way. No wonder God said, he's not the author of confusion. That's why he said, let every woman have a veil. But see, the Roman church didn't like that part. English church didn't like it. So when they made the translation, instead of putting veil, they put covered. So therefore you wear a hat. But I'm going right back to Isaiah. Bonnet. You can't have a bonnet. And the bottom ain't nothing but a form of a hat. A veil is not a hat. And a veil is not a body. So who's teaching the whole truth? Hallelujah! Who's standing for God? Who's declaring the word of truth and living by that word of truth? I don't care how many of you see you baptized last year. 20,000? 30,000? Hallelujah. Because you baptize somebody in Jesus' name, they necessarily mean they saved. That's right. The Bible says he searches the heart of the yeah. individual. That's why I said, uh, well, yeah, yeah. receive the Holy Ghost, Asham Aleikum. Mm. I've seen people say Asham Aleikum and, and, and turn around uh, 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 a day later smoking a crap pipe. Oh, glory. Mm. Mm. That's right. It's not about what you say with your mouth. It's about the content of your heart. Yes. And the Bible said God searches the heart yes. of the individual. I'm not against speaking in tongues. Now, don't misunderstand me now. But I'm saying, because you didn't hear this one speak, and you didn't hear that one speak, don't say they ain't saved. Hallelujah. How you know? Amen. The Bible said by their fruit. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. That's the word. Watch how they walk. Yes. 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 That's the word. Watch their life. Yes. By their fruit, you shall know them. A good tree can't bring forth bad fruit. Yeah. A bad tree can't bring forth good fruit. Amen. By the fruit you shall know them. Yes. And Jesus said, not everyone that said, hear me Joyce Myers, hear me T.D. Jakes, hear me Joel Osteen. Yeah. Jesus said, not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but they that do will. 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 They that follow the Bible. Hallelujah. Many were saying to me that day, Lord, have we not done this and done that in your name? Paid tithe and done all this in your name? But Jesus said, Depart from me. Yeah. I never knew you. Yeah. Ye who work iniquity. That's the word. So keep on shaving your head. Hallelujah. Keep on trying to throw a stone at me. And I'm going to keep on preaching the word of truth. That God calls me home. Thought, thought they had me a few weeks ago. Glory to God. I thought they had myself too. Oh, yeah. God said, get up from there. Yes. 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 Don't sit down until I set you down. Devil can't shut me down. Devil can't hurt my mouth. I'm going to keep preaching and preaching and saying my soul and cutting my hair and stopping my feet like a God said. Sit down. Hallelujah. Take your shoes off. Sit down. Take your rest. Lord, don't let me fail. I want to be your God. Hold me
that better than ever. Ain't God a wonder? I tell you. Up there, cut the steps. Truly a great man of God. And again, I give all praise and glory to our great God, Jesus Christ. And of all our lives. Double honor to his great man serving our Father in the faith, one pop age walker. He showed his piece of house now. Yeah. Like Lady Mother Walk, Love and Every Legacy. Now for Father Jim Mark and Mr. Russell, let's call up Senior Brooks. Yeah. Praise the Lord there, church. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Bless the time we had. Yes. Yeah. Thank God for finally preaching the house now. Yeah. Oh, my God is good. And we pray. Let's get a proper hand. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. The Holy Spirit. Yeah. 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 Once you God make of all things a thing of praise God for our great prophet. All the thanks to God and True Life family. Thank God for being here today. Thank God for what you saw this morning. Lord, it's all in our right mind. We bless all the activities for our land. Thank God for all the testimonies. And thank God for proper, powerful words. Second Timothy, the third chapter. Yeah, speaking about uh, perilous times, and we know <laughs> we are living in uh, perilous times. Yeah. And I was sharing with a uh, prophet and a uh, presiding elder Wagner yesterday that I had one on the, I was on a job. Uh, it was uh, Thursday, and I had a uh, guy was kind of training me up on this different job. And um, I went back there. Well, it was no Wednesday he was training me up, and I went back there Friday. And when I went to go, you know, get get my chair and everything set up, he told the other guys. That he didn't want me to work with him today. And they told him to take offense. His sister had uh, got killed and um, stayed in uh, Ukraine, you know. And we, that, like the Bible speaks about, in the last days, you know, we're going to see wars, rumors of wars, you know, things like that. And the prophet shared the other day about how Russia is attacking the Ukrainian. You know? That's right. And, uh, you know, this, that's what Bible's, the Bible's speaking about, about these perilous times that we're living in. You know, we go to Second Timothy the third chapter verse one. This ye know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own self, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, and without verse three, without natural affection. You know, and that's what um these people is. Anytime that you leave away from um uh, God, you know, and you don't obey his spiritual leader, you are being disobedient, you unthankful, you know, and like uh that's why God Went to Calvary and shed his blood. You know, that's why he died for humanity, you know, for you to get saved, you know. But people are unthankful. And like the Bible said, without natural affection, truth breakers, um, fears, incontinent, those that are um, of, of, of no good, traitors, heady, high minded, loves the pleasure more than God. And that's what these people are. These people love the worldly pleasures. More than they love God, but I thank God the true light. <laughs> we love God yeah. more than these worldly places, you know. And, uh, you know uh, 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 a buzz only lasts you for so long, you know. But Holy Ghost, I, it, it take you from earth to glory, you know. Right. That's why we we not looking at no no buzz, you know, no no uh, marijuana high. We looking for a Holy Ghost high in Jesus' name, yeah. you know. Verse five, having the form of godliness, just like that preacher in Philadelphia, T.D. Jakes, and all these false uh, preachers. You got a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. In other words, you ain't relying on the Holy Ghost power. Because anytime you line up with the Holy Ghost power, you're going to teach God's word. That's why the Bible says, preach the word, be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering. You know, so and, and anytime you're not teaching God's word, <laughs> you're not denying yourself. You know, and you ain't saving, your congregation ain't going to be saved. And I thank God that true life is saved. <laughs> you don't know it, you know, and God sent him, you know, he preaching to the preaching all over the world. Yeah. You know, that's why they try to kick us off of YouTube, because they don't want the word word to go forward. But the word gonna go forth. <laughs> my word gonna go forth and it shall not come back void to me. In other words, my word gonna do it exactly what it intended and wanted it to do. You know, it's gonna separate the wheat from the terror, the good from the bad, it's gonna celebrate the holy. 
from the unholy. Thank God that we are holy. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, thank God for God's healing power in Jesus' name. Yeah. 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 It's blessed power and miracle power. You know, everybody wants to be able to keep praising God in this world. Miracle, all of the miracles. Yeah. Yeah. God has been all of us. So God can do some, some, some great things. And she's like, I'm going to sit down, you know, but I, I uh, thank God for yesterday that, uh, you know, I had got a call from Deacon. He needed a little work to be done. And presiding at a Wagner, he probably wanted to get, get some work done with a basketball rim. And I had to get a little work done. But I thank God we got all the work done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Deacon out, and we got the basketball for real. Yeah. So God is good. You know, we might, be, we might be small in number, but we are mighty in Christ Jesus. You know, we, 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 we are blessed, church. And thank God for Shiloh every day. Thank God for yeah. the vision yeah. that the Lord has given the process. Yeah. Yeah. Like the word of God said, without a vision, the people perish. So thank God that we got a vision. So thank God for the prophet, yeah. powerful word from heaven. Yeah. God's goodness, you know, we're going to yes. proclaim God's goodness, you know, we're going to tell the people, you know, yes. and just like they ask Ezra, you know, what y'all doing, you know, they say we be servants of the Most High God, you know, we're going to preach, and that's what we are, we are preachers of the Most High God, so thank God for the great time, thank you for everybody, Jesus, pray my strength in the Lord, Amen. Yes. and we uh, all rise and be dismissed in Jesus' name, may the Lord watch, may the Lord watch, between me and thee, between me and thee, are we absent? Are we absent? One from another. One from another. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. God.